Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing part two of building a combat robot. This will be mostly parts and a little bit of design. This is the electronics layout, pretty much everything except the battery and the switch. Hopefully it will work for my application as well as not be DOA. If you remember our aluminum base plate here, you'll notice some changes. That's because we were designing and 3D printing some robot sections. as well as adding a FingerTech power switch. So that's the basis to our bot right there. Apparently, you can peel off those labels pretty easily. Very nice. side plates will mount the motors, these just hold them. I mentioned having to redesign things in the first video when talking about CAD software. Well, you're going to be redesigning things anyway. Perfect example. Here's that first piece I designed. Then I designed this piece. If you can see that only difference is this corner is gone. It does save a tiny bit of weight, but the real importance is it gains extra space. At the top here, in between those, right where the speed controllers kind of sit. But then wouldn't you know it, I designed completely different parts. There's now four pieces instead of three pieces. 
And I did that so this entire back section could be destroyed and removed and the bot will still function perfectly. Assuming there's no damage to the wires, of course. Now, I know a lot of 3D printing filaments aren't good for combat robots, so I don't know if I'm sticking with these or if they're just prototypes, but honestly, I kind of want to give them a shot because they're going to be sandwiched in aluminum and hopefully some UHMW. So there's the base. Then we combine it with the electronics. And we're almost ready to roll. Just need some wheels. Once we get some wheels on here, hopefully next time, then we're gonna roll around, see how stable this platform is. I still have to 3D print the sides, so we'll get some of those done in the next one. They're eventually gonna be made out of aluminum or something better, probably aluminum. Stay tuned for next time.